French President Emmanuel Macron has been holding talks in Ukraine with President Zelensky as part of efforts to try to de-escalate the crisis with Russia. Speaking at a news conference in the past few minutes, Mr Macron said he believed the Minsk agreements, which were drawn up to resolve the conflict in the east of the country, remain the best way to protect Ukraine's integrity. Mr Macron had five hours of discussions with Russia's President Putin on Monday, and both leaders said they had been points of agreement. During my talks with President Putin, he told me he will not start an escalation. I think that's important. This morning we've had a confirmation of that promise, because the other important element is there won't be fixed bases or sensitive equipment in Belarus. I believe that's now been confirmed. President Macron there. Well, I'm joined now by our Kiev correspondent, James Waterhouse. And James, uh, President Macron was in Russia yesterday, Ukraine today. Just tell us what more has come out of this press conference. Well, yeah, he, he's laid out what he sees as the solution for this crisis. He talks about Ukraine changing a lot since uh, its uh, revolution of 2013, which saw a pro-Western government installed. The country took a big step towards Europe then. And President Macron said the country has not been the same since and there was no going back, which is quite a statement to make. He said he can't stop NATO's open door policy, which we hear a lot about, where NATO says it's up to each individual country to be able to join. But he sees the breakthrough being through these Minsk agreements, this ceasefire deal for these occupied territories in the east of Ukraine by Russian-backed militants. Both Russia and Ukraine have accused each other of not honoring it. it the requirements were for Russia to scale back heavy weapons uh, from that military zone and for Ukraine to install local elections and to change its law for more devolved powers to that area. That's not palatable uh, for President Zelensky's government. That, they say, would give Russia a direct hand into Ukrainian politics. And over the last few weeks and months, we've seen reports of Russia ignoring that agreement, too, with the movement of weapons and troops. Yeah, um, James, just help our audiences um, remember what the Minsk agreements were, because there was one and two, and it was basically essentially in 2014 and 2015 uh, at the height of, of the violence between Russia and Ukraine. That's right. They, these were two subsequent agreements overseen by France and Germany. There was a, a, a lessening of the fighting. There was some effectiveness there, but we've seen uh, the, the, the agreement not entirely be honoured. And for, for President Macron, he wants to, this to be very much brought back to the fore for a, lo a longer term solution. But for President Zelensky, one of his big election promises was to sort this diplomatically and not make any concessions to Russia. Um, but President Macron call, is calling for a new defensive order for Europe. So what that's going to mean in detail and how acceptable that's going to be for Ukraine, we'll have to wait and see. President Zelensky said if President Putin was open to Emmanuel Macron, that is a positive result. But openness to Ukraine should result in concrete steps. And for President Zelensky, that is the de-escalation of things for troops to withdraw. James, thanks so much for that update.